Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here in Palo Duro Canyon State Park in Texas, and I'm about to hike what's apparently known or called on all trails as the Cave Trail. I have no idea if there are actual caves. It is not listed on the official state park trail map, but there is a pull-off here. There's another vehicle. Um, there's a picnic table and what appears to be a trail off over there. So we're gonna hike it and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, this could be a hidden gem, it could be a total bust, but uh, stay tuned and you'll find out which one it is. All right guys, so getting right into it. Uh, yeah, nice little trailhead. Uh, not a huge parking lot, but since this isn't on their maps, I can't imagine it's going to be super busy at any given time. There is a spot on their maps called the Big Cave. It's a little, um, Spot you can pull off and go into this this other really big cave, and uh, you'll see a clip of that later. But this trail isn't on the map, so I'm not sure why. Uh, I talk about that a little bit later on, but uh, yeah, it's a cool little trail. So a little bit of elevation, not really a whole lot. The trail is basically just flat. It's pretty easy to follow. Uh, as always, watch out for the cactuses. Cacti, sorry. Watch out for them. Uh, they will get you. Uh, I got hit with a cactus um, the, on the hike I did after this one, and it was not fun. Some cool geology here. If you are a uh, fan of the rocks. But uh, some nice views, too. Something I wasn't really expecting in this area. Again, go up a little rise. Nothing crazy. Uh, I feel like this hike would be great for to take kids on, um, especially if you're camping in the area and you're just looking for something to do, to kill some time. Basically, this is a cool one to go explore. So yeah, up here the trail narrows a little bit, but uh, still really easy to follow. I didn't have any issues up here. I wasn't having to refer to the, the All Trails map at all. The All Trails map does take you kind of around the backside of the cave. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if that's just an All Trails thing where it's trying to... I don't know. I don't know why it does it. There's nothing on the backside I checked. <laughs> but it is a cool area to explore. And there's tons of little areas off to the side here where you can go and explore. So... You could definitely spend a bit of time out here. And uh, right now we're basically getting up to the end of the trail, the official trail. There's actually more trail, it looks like, that goes beyond this. I didn't go and explore further down the way, but uh, you can see past this sign here. It says no bicycles beyond this point. Uh, there's a trail that keeps going. I, I have no idea what it goes to, but might be worth exploring and checking out. But uh, here's the cave right in front of us, and we're going to go in in just a second. Sorry about the glare, guys. I know it's pretty bad, but something I was fighting all weekend. So we're going in the cave. Uh, first thing I did was uh, give out a couple hellos, see if there was any uh, people or animals in the cave already. I did not want to uh, run into anything back there. And there's these shafts of light that come down, which is really great. So you can actually see through the whole cave. You don't need flashlights or anything. At least uh, if you're going during the, you know, the middle of the day. And I think this was actually later in the day. It was late afternoon, but I could still see pretty well. But yeah, it goes back pretty far. You can go back maybe 20, 30 feet. I should also mention that being in a cave is inherently dangerous. You always have to be careful. Falling rocks is a thing. And you're going to want to watch out for snakes, spiders, all that stuff, especially in the summer months. In the winter, it's not as bad. But uh, definitely want to watch out for that in the summer. And uh, now I'm going to get back to you guys with a rating. All right, guys. So that's it for the cave trail. Um, I'm not really sure why this isn't on their maps. It's a cool little trail. Definitely a cool place to explore, especially with kids. Um, super short. It's only like a half mile out, half mile back. And it's all flat. So... 
yeah, uh, there, there are signs for like mountain bikes and stuff, uh, not to go beyond certain points. And so my only thought is that maybe they used to allow mountain biking out here. There used to be a mountain bike area and they've shut it down to let the area kind of recover. That's all I can really come up with. But either way, it's a cool little trail if you want to check it out. So overall difficulty for this one is just going to be a, uh, you know, a two. It's a really easy walk out to get here. It's like nice and flat. The trail is fairly easy to follow and the, the parking lot's easy to find. So uh, difficulty two, worth it. I think this one is up there at like a six. You know, this is a fun trail and uh, these caves are really cool to see. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out this trail and we'll see you next time. Bye. All right guys, unfortunately no bonus piece today, but I do have a bonus cave. Not too bad, not too bad. Thanks for watching.